make stained glass panels and windows and um, door panels. I also uh, teach stained glass here. I graduated uh, 25 years ago now uh, and I studied at stained glass at Edinburgh College of Art. When I was at art college um, we got to try out different uh, design subjects and stained glass was something that really appealed to me and I loved the colour of the glass and I just loved the space and I just uh, something that just drew me. I'm still enchanted with the the colour and the and the surface and texture and, and there's so much you can do to glass, there's so much to explore. A lot of the glass that I use I will paint myself and I will mark and, and make surfaces and things on the glass with materials like a sandblast or a kiln. This piece here I made um, taking textures and surfaces from gravestones or interesting surfaces that I come across and uh, made up a mould and then heated the glass up and soaked into the, the texture. I then stained the glass with this lovely nitrate and it brought this beautiful amber colour up and then sandblasted to make these, create the grid pattern. And then I uh, cut and laid this work together. So this is basically the, the leading um, set up of a framework and you're building up your framework and your lead. This is the bit I find really interesting because once you get it um, cleaned as well, it starts to look something really old, something looks as if it's been around for 60 years. A lot of my work has been quite personal, it's about family and nurture. My dad had Alzheimer's and I was studying the brain scan and stuff, perf, just trying to cope with his illness and did lots and lots of drawings of brain scans. But at the same time I was pregnant with my first child, I was really aware of all the changes in my body and these became a really positive symbol and I saw them as little figures, little female figures and I did layers and layers. So I've created a whole series of them and I call them summer shadows. I'm working towards an exhibition uh, in July and uh, it's a Six Women in Glass exhibition at, at the Doubtfire Gallery in Edinburgh and uh, I'm making some glass pieces for that with alongside some of my uh, paintings. I think it still is a popular art form. There are people buying and commissioning uh, glass for houses and, uh, and public art. It is still on the go. It, it's a craft that needs to be, um, I think it could do with a revival. 